All right, guys, we got a bear messing with us again. Okay, let's go back in here. Oh shit, get, oh. <laughs> they killed us right at our doorstep. Unbelievable. Yeah, you just get the hell out of here. All right, let's <laughs> let's wait for him to wander away. Oh man, this is just terrible. Go away. All right, can he? I don't think they can come through the door, can they? Let's see. <laughs> let's see what happens here. Oh shit, the wolf can. Um, okay. This is not good? Of course it's not good. What, uh, what do we do? We grab some bones and stuff and make a bone knife, I guess. Or actually, can we... Probably make another one of these knives. I need some leather and wood. <clears throat> Leather and wood and nails. Okay, yeah, let's make another one of these. Oh, we could make a crossbow. I think it's just the stupid wolf that's. We got him. Okay. You motherfuckers. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, you guys, to Icarus. Oh, man. There's a bear that spawns right up on the on that, that little uh, ledge right there. And I was out here cutting wood. He saw me and came barreling down and started busting the building. I was trying to repair it, and it was, wasn't able to keep it repaired. Oh, that's when I started. Wait, what am I doing? That's when I started the recorder, and yeah. So, I'm wondering if this is a situation where what we need to do is. Are these done? Hey, okay, there's some good news. Um, just try and build the ladder and be done with it. Um, it's gonna be. What in the hell? Oh, I've seen that bug before where after you die, then it's like the the hood, your hood gets in the way. So, um, here, let's fix this. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to relog. That's the only way I know how to fix that. All right. Is that wall back to normal? That yeah, needs some attention, too. Uh, maybe just, you know get the stuff we need to build the stairs now I, you know I don't have a ton of iron is the thing uh, so you know the spikes that we need to do that then here's something else that, that occurred to me though too I was thinking well I build the stair and then it stays there you know for the rest of the playthrough for us to use in the future but I don't think that actually happens because when you leave everything resets and the you know the cave openings that we that we did that wasn't something that we built oh man that's so irritating so oh this needs some attention too doesn't it man so yeah um maybe we just built it out of wood and be done with it then okay well nonetheless i'm gonna have to uh log uh re-log to fix this issue so i'll bring you guys back in a little bit all right guys i'm back uh yeah you know I, I made i made some foundations here some stone foundations but the more i think about it the more i think it's very unlikely that this is going to um stick around after we leave and so i'm thinking we make a shit ton of la wood ladders and platforms to get up there so, that being the case, 
Um, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty inexpensive for us to do that. The thing is, though, is can we stick foundations in the side of the wall and will they stay there? They seem to. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay. They seem to. It's kind of interesting that they're hollow underneath. Alright, well... I think that... This... This is where we're supposed to go up, I guess. I mean, I don't actually know that for sure. <laughs> oh, jeez, he fell off the cliff. So, maybe we start right here. And go up here. Okay, so let's put those there. Oh, that's right, I made two knives. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. And then let's let's get some, let's just get a bunch of wooden fiber. That's what we need to do. Wooden fiber. So we'll just take whatever we have in here and what we have in here to start with. And of course, I'll have to get some more going. So what I'm thinking is let's make a, a ramp. I, um, I think I mentioned to you guys that I've never seen this done like by anybody else on YouTube or whatever. So I'm just kind of figure trying to figure this out as we go. All right, now, can I make... Uh, get out of here. Animals are such a pain in the ass in this drop here. Um, so, can I make ladders and set them down and build up with them? That is what we're going to find out, because I don't know if I can. Okay, so let's make a couple. How many of these can we make? 12? All right. Let's just start with, I don't know, uh, five or something. Okay. So it will let me just put it there, but it doesn't snap to anything on this foundation. I wonder if we should... We also need then to make the the hatches. There's the trap door. Is this mission actually programmed to send creatures after us while we're trying to build this? Because <laughs> that's what it kind of seems like. Oh man, this is crazy. Get that buff going. Okay, so uh, where are the hatch thingamadoodles? Do I not even know those in the wood category? Let's take a look. Uh, that's actually in tier one. Oh my god! It is! It is! It's programmed to send animals after you while you're building this. I think. Good lord! Uh, actually, we need to try and retrieve some of these arrows here. <coughs> <laughs> That's what's going on here, isn't it, you guys? Oh my goodness! This is intense! Alright, let's, uh... Let's go here quick. <laughs> believe this uh i need this is what i need right here uh, no 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 that's not what i need this, i already know what i need it doggone it 
I didn't want to buy that stupid thatch thing. Not that it matters. We got plenty of points. All right. Where is that? Where is that hatch door thing? I don't see it here. Not deployable structures. Do you have to make it in... In, in here? Uh, oh, maybe you have to make it in the... Do you have to make it in the carpenter's bench? Really? Uh, does it tell us that? A floor piece with a hole for a trapdoor. Okay. Doesn't say we have to make it in the carpenter's bench. But I don't see it anywhere in this list, so I'm assuming that we do. Um, or at least in the crafting bench, but I also don't see it in here. Where's structures? No structures, structures, structures. There aren't any structures in here. This is all just tools and things. Um, yeah, we can't make it in there either. So, so when we get on this wall, is that what's triggering stuff to happen? Okay, let's try, uh, let's try something here. If we put this, like, well, we can't put it, like, right on the edge. Let's put it, like, right here-ish. Okay, can we stack another? Oh, we can, we can, okay. Too far. Gotcha. Alright, so... Is this gonna stay... stay? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? I didn't do that. My guy did that by himself. Oh my god. That scared me. He climbed to the top. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, here. Let's take this and put it here and here. Okay. <laughs> man. Man, oh man. Okay. I think we're good. we got a little bit higher to go than just up to this ridge. But, um, press to interact. Oh, is, are there more critters coming in to attack us? What is that down there? I don't know. All right, so we're we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to make a whole bunch of platforms, uh, you know, and just have the stuff in our inventory so we can build as we go. I think that's what's gonna have to happen here. Okay, let's go down. Yep, it's weird, man. You have to press the W key to go down, which is usually the up key. Oh, I guess it's the way you're looking. Okay, I get that. I get that. All right. I think I'm starting to figure this out. So we basically just need a metric ass ton of fiber and wood because we're just going to do all of this out of wood. So let me uh, start gathering that stuff up. And I wonder if, you know, we're going to get more company. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed to work okay for me to just go in here and shoot that guy. We should probably repair this, though. Well, where's the repair hammer? Okay, that's in good shape. That's fine. That needs a little attention. Okay, so if we get attacked by a bear again, we just run in here and we um we will just, you know, cheese him from in here. That's pretty much all we can do at this point. Alright, let's just put this down here. I don't care if it's a ramp or stairs or whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, so, fiber and wood, that's what we're after. There's, I had another thought, I just thought about something else I need to do, and then it completely escaped me. What was it? I ran out of flint arrows, so we're back to bone arrows. Uh, I think that's maybe what it was, make more bone arrows, uh, which we need sticks for. So let's put... 
some of this fiber in here. Uh, we have meat coming out our ears, so I'm just putting it in here to spoil for now. And then let's grab some sticks out of here. And we're just going to have to make do with a bunch of bone arrows because <clears throat> I want to just get on with this now. <laughs> this is becoming such a pain in the ass. Here I thought this quest was going to be fun. It is kind of fun, actually, but it's a pain in the ass, too. Absolutely a pain in the ass. Okay. So uh, that gives us 48 arrows. We're pretty good to go there. Uh, let's make sure we keep this bow in good repair. And then I'm going to put that stuff back in there. Uh, we just need wood and fiber in our inventory at the moment. Let's put the spare knife back in here, too. Okay. Wooden fiber. That's what it's all about. Did it send a pig up to harass us? Maybe. Uh, I think we have a decent amount of fiber. We need to get wood now. Just bugger off. I told you. You didn't listen to me, man. <clears throat> in hindsight, I probably should have stayed in the desert, stayed at that mine, and got... Uh, geared up there at least you know to the point where I had a shotgun and if I do this quest again in the future that's exactly what I'm going to do um, but you know live and learn right or in this case die and learn multiple times in fact okay that's a pretty decent amount of wood and fiber let's uh, make a few more of those I don't need this fur stuff. Okay. Uh, let's sleep because it's 1800 hours. And then we can start this in the morning here. Gonna have to restart our fire here. Okay. Have to press E. Oh, am I going to be able to get up here? Uh, e e yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that was uh, a little hairy scary. Uh, all right, so now let's make some more ladders. So, I don't know, let's make, say, ten of these. I'm just going to get rid of that shit. All right. And then we're going to just put this on the edge of here. Try and get it reasonably straight. Too far. Okay. Uh, we want to basically go to that platform there. So uh, let's go back down a little bit and remove... Do we remove this with Y? Uh, that doesn't seem to work on ladders. How do we... Okay, hold on. Is it because we were standing on it? Oh. Okay. Um. Oh. Ooh, he's doing that by himself. <laughs> You're crazy, dude. Actually, this might be okay. This might be okay. All right, now, can we attach floors to sides of cliffs? Let's find out. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, looks like maybe it'll let us do it. Okay, so the question now is, can we come all the way out here before it becomes unstable? Looks like we just need to do one more. Okay. 
And that gets us to this ledge. Now, um, I don't know if this guy would try and attack us or not, but he's in the way even if he would, so let's get him out of the way. Mr. Beefalo. All right, now I think the next step in this equation is to get up to this ledge here. All right, can we put ladders straight up on the ground? Yes, we can, okay. All right, let's go up this high. another one and probably another one and let <laughs> man that just freaks me out every time he does that uh, okay and now we'll build some uh, okay we might have to Well, if we can get to here, we can we can ramp up from there. This is kind of cool, though. Um, that's not ideal, is it? Press to interact. All right, I think what we better do here is go down and up. And then jump! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> now, can we... Um, can we put one more of these down? No, we can't. Okay, so we don't have enough stability to put one more of those down. I wonder if we could get a pillar underneath this somehow. And have it... Okay, here, yeah, let's do this. Why don't we make a ramp? Come on, cooperate. Go other way. Stupid thing. All right, let me get out here a little further. I want it to connect to the second board here. Oh, yeah, right there. Right where you just were. There. Okay. I guess. Okay, so we can get to there. Now, can I get a support pillar? What I'm going to do here is make a few more of these. Put that down there. And okay, should be able to take that off without it collapsing on me. Now, can we put some support pillars? Um, yeah, on that side. Wait, what just collapsed? I don't know. Is that actually... Do it go on that side, though? I can't tell. 
Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. All right now, can we put another one of these out here? Yes, we can. All right, now, the problem we have, though, at this point, is that this ladder is too far in. Um, um, did, I, did I learn half walls? I didn't. Wood half piece. Okay. Let's make one of these. That's better. So, can I press E to interact? I can. Okay, can I go down? I can. Can I go up? I can. It's kind of jank that we have to go up over the top, but... You know what, though? Actually, if we built this out straight out from here, I think it's going to be too high, though, isn't it? The way to tell is if we make a wall, or even just one of our posts, actually. Yeah, see, that's higher than the ladder, so that isn't going to work. Okay, well, this will have to do. I mean, it's functional, because I can press E to interact, get on the ladder, and go down. And getting up is just weird, because we have to climb all the way up over the top, but there's no like half ladders <laughs> the way to make this work correctly though would be to start the ladders up here and then hang them down if I don't know if the game would let me do that though can I attach a ladder to yeah see the only thing I think it only snaps to hatch holes why can't I make hatch holes? It's got to be the carpentry bench. That's the only thing I can think of. <sighs> oh, that sucks, man, because uh, we could have made this a lot nicer if we could have just used the hatch holes. I mean, I guess I could make a carpentry bench, though. Right? Well, let's see how much further we got to go here. What are you doing, man? Oh, great. Now, now we have to build down. <laughs> Why didn't they just give us that damn drill we had before? And we could have just burrowed through the mountain. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to go see if making a, the, the carpentry bench is what I need to do to make the hatch holes. Because we could make this... No, that's not what I wanted you to do. Go down. There. Because we could make this uh, better, or, or at least make the... Snap blocked? What does that mean? Oh, it thinks I'm trying to put another ladder down. That's what it is. Uh, make... <laughs> I know that looks terrible. Uh, make it look a little bit better, you know, as we're going down. Okay. That's, that's a little scary, <laughs> but it's working, so. Okay, hopefully we don't need something super expensive to make the carpentry bench. I think we would make that in here, right? Uh, carpentry bench. Ah, uh, we don't have any copper with us. I didn't bring copper, I just brought iron. Ah, oh, son of a gun. All right. Okay, yeah, it's not going to work. And I I don't want to take the time to go try and find a bunch of iron. We are going to need some more wood, though. And maybe even a little bit more fiber, too. So let's get some more wood and fiber here. Okay, so, yeah, let's um 
let's see what we can do. We might need to use some kind of a ramp contraption to get down uh, if we can't build la <coughs> excuse me, build ladders downward. Shut up, bear. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> we have to go over the top. Alright. You know what? We don't need... Oh! Careful. Those pieces don't need to be there. But we'll take them and reuse them. Okay, so now we got to do the opposite. We got to build down that way. Oh my word. Okay, let's go look around over here. The Riverlands looks just like the freaking. Uh, Uh, what you call it? The forest. Maybe it'll, it'll look different once we get out there. Ba ways. I'm just trying to f figure out where the lowest spot is that we can start building down. Is there supposed to be a waterfall over here? Because that's the name of the mission. Whoa. Alright, we could maybe start some kind of a ramp system going down this way, I'm thinking. So what if we put those there, let me try this one more time so I can't hang this off of here. Uh, what if I press R? No, nope, that doesn't do anything. Okay. All right, let's make some ramps then. Um, so, 17, we might need that many. Let's, let's start with, say, 10. I guess we could make these stairs. I, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. And then go there. Go there. And maybe put a landing here. Okay. And then down this way. Um, okay, no. We're going to need a pillar here. Okay, that's fine. Let's get a pillar. Uh, oop, there. Right there. Okay. Let's put one on this side, too. I don't, we don't probably don't need to put one on that side, but we will anyway. Okay, what about this? Is that going to be stable? Yeah. What about this? Because it's going to hit the stone, I think. Very nice. Okay, so if we put that there, and then we put this here, and then we turn and go this way. Okay, that gets a little weird, but not a problem if we put a platform here. Okay. This is, seems to be working okay. Um, Now, for this last bit here, it gets a little steeper. So, I'm thinking... What if we... Go down... Here. And then put in a... 
ship landing here and another one here. And then we just kind of zigzag it down from here. I'm wondering if we'll be able to get all the way down there before we run out of resources here. I guess we're going to find out here in a minute. Okay, let's do another stair. Seriously? We're out of resources? <laughs> well, you know what? We could just jump down there and... Welcome to the Riverlands. Thank you. It's what happens when you wipe out a chunk of a world and replace it with your own genetically adjusted flora and fauna. An ecologist nightmare and wet dream all rolled into one. <laughs> Okay. Problem is, no one knows exactly how exotics are affecting this place, or how any of it's going to develop long term. Question is, is Icarus gone, or just resting? Okay, so let's just uh, gather up a little more. Uh, wood looks like we have plenty of fiber still so we just mostly need wood Just to finish that out. So it's finished We probably don't actually need to now, but we will anyway. We'll pretend like it's an important and it's gonna persist Though I, I highly doubt it will but maybe it does I don't know we'll see no stupid bears charges uh, speaking of do we have yeah let's rebuff so if we do get charged we have our stamina max stamina and health and all that That's a buffalo. Okay. So, let's make a couple more stairs. That should be fine. All right, let's make a couple of landings. I probably only actually need one. And then stairs down from here. And just one more. We got it. Okay. Look at this, you guys. This worked out pretty good. We could have actually done this on the other side too, I guess, but that's all right. Okay, so let's look at the map. Uh, we need to get down to here to place this little portable beacon doohickey to finish out the mission. Uh, so let's just see if we can knock that out without getting eaten. Um, let me see. Let's look at our inventory here. So we got food. We got air, water, 50 arrows. Um, our our gear's in re reasonably good repair. So, yeah, let's see if we can get this done. I have a feeling we might encounter some more or resistance along the way but we'll do the best we can so let's mark this and see what happens here so this part of the riverlands anyways just looks like the forest pretty steep terrain though But from what I understand about the Riverlands is that it's, well, has lots of rivers. But otherwise is, you know, similar to the forest biome. Of course there's a bear down here. Why wouldn't there be? 
frick. We have our light on? Yeah. Alright. Damn it, Jim. Just right up over the edge of that rise there. If we can get past him, then we're good. Okay, I think we evaded that bear, but that doesn't mean there aren't going to be more. <laughs> I'm way down the mountain here. Okay, let's go. At least they're not like them damn cougars that don't announce themselves until you're right on them. Hog. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that just goes up there. Okay. So it looks like we have to pass through a very narrow passage here. I hope there aren't any bears in this passage. You just watch, though. Are there any caves in this passage? That's a buffalo. All right. Here, another bear. You know, I probably can kill a bear if I have a clear way, you know, clear path to kite him, and I don't. He doesn't have a bunch of ads. I mean, we've already done it once. There he is. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, there is no getting past this guy. So, he's going down or I'm going down. At least he's only level 74. And it was him. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot more doable if you have room to maneuver and you don't have hyenas and wolves trying to eat you at the same time. Okay, let's go. Just have deer and beefalo down through here. This quest would be a lot easier to do with a shotgun, man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> a lot easier to do. Uh, I mostly just want my arrow right now. What is that? Oh, that's one of those goat thingamadoodles. A chamois. I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. All right, how close are we now? Eh, we're getting there. Let's kind of stay along this this uh, side of the mountain, and at least until we hear the next bear and figure out kind of where he's at. A little stuttery through here. Really stuttery through here. Which kind of surprises me because there isn't a lot of foliage, but it's probably because it's loading in new territory. Hey, are we going to get, like, ganked by a bunch of critters when we set this thing down? Of course we are. That's a dumb question. 
We know exactly that that's what's going to happen. All right, I hear another bear up in the general direction that we got to go in. Let's let's get a little lower here. So that bear sounds like he's up that way. We're going this way, so we might be okay. Wow, look at this vista, you guys. So cool. There's the Riverlands. I'm sure there's more trees and stuff down there that it's just too far up to render. Okay, so we have to go down that way. Remember, we still have to make it all the way back to the pod. <laughs> it's so far away right now to end the mission. Well, there's the waterfall part of it. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right, let's see. Where are we at? Do we have to set it? This is the spot and the beacons nearby. But it'll need a platform. It needs a platform, does it? Why can't we just put it on top of that thing? Man, this is gorgeous. I love it. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can pop out of the water over here. So it looks like it they want it like right on top of that thing. All right. Well, then let's craft a wood floor and another ramp to get up on said wood floor. Mission complete, and we're not getting rushed by anything. I don't think the game's working right. <laughs> okay, that's it. We just have an enormous run back to our pod. Through territory riddled with bears. Can we get up this way? I can't believe they didn't send a rush of critters after us. <laughs> All right. Very good. 
<laughs> well, like I've said a couple times now, guys, this has without a doubt been the most challenging prospect I've done to date in this game. Um, some of the uh, challenges could have been avoided. Um, well, you know, the biggest mistake that I made was leaving my O2 tank behind. Uh, because that's what kind of set off the chain reaction of all the other bad shit that started happening. Because, you know, we made it to that spot without any issues the first time around, but then I just didn't have my thing with me. So, it was, you know, I definitely partially take responsibility for this, but, you know, it's not... I, I didn't cause all of the bears that we had to deal with, you know, in this, uh, uh, in this prospect. So... You guys who are watching this, if you, you know, if you haven't done this yet, um, or if you have, you know, let me know how you did with it and how you handled it. But uh, those of you who haven't done it yet and are planning on it, I would recommend you stay in the desert at that cave with all that metal in it, build up there, and at least have yourself a shotgun, you know, before you, before you even come to this place, because... You saw how high level the animals were. I mean, that one bear that we, the first bear we killed, he was like a hundred and, he was over a hundred. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, that's what I would recommend. If I do this quest again, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I do not want to come over here without a shotgun. So anyway, I'm going to work my way back to the base. Uh, I'm sorry, to the pod. I will keep the camera running in case something crazy happens, but if nothing crazy happens, I will see you guys back at the pot. Okay? Wish me luck. Got a long run. Yeah, they spawned in another damn bear. There's no getting past this guy, so let's wait for him to turn around. Um, I'm going to also switch out my torch here. <clears throat> I surely wished I would have made a shotgun now, man. I need him to turn his head around so I can get a crit on him. There we go. Ooh, nice crit. Over 3,000. He's a, only a level 72. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, he is right on us. Shit, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, my God. I was stuck. I couldn't move. Oh! You get away from me. No shit, my health slow. Uh, fish, 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 fish. That would have been terrible, man, to kill the bear only to be defeated by the pig. <laughs> that would have been just, oh, that would have been par for the course for this mission. That's what it would have been. Yeah, he had me pinned up against this rock wall. I couldn't move. Oh my goodness, that was close. Okay, let's um take our suture kit. We had a deep wound and a bleed on that deal. And eat fish that we get healed back up. Okay, we're good to go. Let's do it. We still have one more bear to get past before we get to the staircase, but he's uh oh great. Uh, I was going to say, he's going to be in a wider area or not. Nice crits. Got him. Yeah, definitely don't do this quest without a shotgun, you guys. Or, you know, a a level a better bow and arrows if you're if you like the bow better I like both the shotgun and the bow myself 
But doing this with a longbow and bone arrows, not recommended. I want to try and get back to our staircase uh, so I can just sleep the night away. So we're going to just keep going. Um, how much further do we have to go? And we, yeah, let's just keep going for now. Absolute worst case scenario, we'd burrow into a rock. I just don't want to run into another bar. Or have a tree fall on our head either, for that matter. The trees like to fall down in the area that the player's in. Well, I don't know if they like to fall down, but they do. Probably don't enjoy it. That's right, we have to climb up this steep uh, slope here. There's our staircase. So we should be able to get over the top of this and back down the other side before the red storm comes. As long as we don't slip and fall. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, then we gotta run over this way. Hurry up, stamina. You know, in spite of all the bad luck we had and the f deaths and stuff, this was a fun quest. I, I, I didn't. I, I appreciate what the quest is doing because it's a, a way different than anything else we've done so far. So, yeah. Bra bravo to the devs. Those bears are sons of bitches, though. Look at the torch flame off my left hip there. <laughs> That's funny. There's blood on the ground down there. That's never a good sign, unless I'm the one that caused it. Okay, safe and sound back in the house. And let's start this thing up and go to sleep. morning okay guys so again um, I will bring you back if something crazy happens if there's another bear encounter or whatever but otherwise I'll see you back at the pod I'm just gonna wait the storm out of course okay we finally made it back to the pod uh, without major incident we had to fight a couple cougars and hyenas and stuff like that oh but we made it back Whew, what a mission okay so we got both of our MXC things and I got my um, uh, tank and canteen so let's get the hell out of here what an ordeal <laughs> yeah if I do this one again man I am not doing that without a shotgun definitely gonna have a shotgun next time around so I'll stay at the desert cave where we land build up from there and then and then go into the and go do it and um i i'm pretty sure you know that it's what i built's not going to persist if if it did persist if i find out that it does later you know i would have made something a lot nicer especially if it's something we have to use more frequently but you know it was getting kind of frustrating for me uh you know continually getting um menaced by the damn bears and stuff and i just kind of wanted to get it done so we got it done all right, let's um, let's see what we got for um, workshop points. It only gave us 175 points for all of that, man. We should have gotten more. <laughs> we totally should have gotten more than that. Okay, if we go to the workshop, uh, we should now be able to afford to research this. Okay, that leaves us 125. Uh, so, we're going to have to do 
Uh, we're going to need 200 to research this suit, and then that'll finally open up this bow to us. So, 15 charge speed of bows, or minus 15 charge speed. Oh, so if something's charging at you, I got you. So we can actually get to these first two bows without exotics, but th not that that matters because we're going to open up exotics in the next episode. Anyway, that's what I'm planning on doing. 25 arrows of decent quality if unremarkable performance. Okay. Kind of expensive to research, I guess, but... Oh, chance on poison, chance to slow, 100% chance to slow. Oh, wow, that would be useful. Um, Yeah, we might need to consider those for sure. These are just basic arrows. These are five arrows tipped with a rapid action nerve agent that slows targets. Huh, yeah, that, that could be super useful for sure. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we're going to we need to unlock this and then unlock, you know, whatever bow. Well, we can't get that one right away. Maybe we can. It depends on how many exotics. What's the difference between this? So this is minus 50% movement speed. Does that mean if you're using it? You you move slower? Who the hell would want that? Charge speed of bows. Hmm. 50% arrow speed, 5% critical damage with bows and minus 5% critical damage? Wait a minute, what? Faster arrows, but Less 5% critical damage. Hmm. Well, I guess, you know, less 5% is not a big deal. That, that doesn't mean less 5% that you will create. It just means the damage is a little less. Uh, but the trade-off is faster arrows, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, I mean, going into a prospect with this automatically is going to be nice. Because, you know... We, the, you, we don't have to start off with a stupid wood bow. Long bow's okay, but even it's not that great, really. So, And I might still just bite the bullet and get the axe just because we can kind of thing. Um, these are really cheap to make, so I guess if we did you know, leave them behind, we could always make another one without things being too terribly expensive. So, But let's, let's not do that yet. Let's just hold out until we can get our first bow. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. And the plan for the next episode, uh, let's just keep our current load out there, is to do payday. And I don't know details about this mission, but I heard it's pretty, fairly challenging. And it's also a seven-day mission. And I'm assuming it's probably going to be in the Riverlands. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but that is my plan so we can unlock exotics. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.